so everybody can see everything. This is, uh, it's pretty bright on my side of the camera, so try and bear with me. Uh, this cage right here will keep the rock outside of the, ins the system, allowing you to get at the inside and remove the bell. The bell has holes in it. This is approximately one and a half, give or take an eighth of an inch. We're talking about one and a half to, you know, one and five eighths where it should start sucking air in off the bottom of the tank. Right here is the siphon system. In about a minute and a half it should be reaching the top of that. We'll come back to that in a moment. That funnel through to the bottom here. There's an elbow that feeds over into <coughs> the tank. And then Inside the tank, we turn the pressure. I'm getting back pressure. Without a valve, you use one valve to control the pressure that's coming out here and what's going to be turning in the air. Have the lid on to keep water to the minimum splashing out. So then the pump is pumping the water up to here through this valve that's being metered. Through a hose right there up to tap inside and back into here. So we should be getting close. To it. So now it's getting to where it's going to start falling over. And it create its own suction. The bell surrounds it and it's sealed at the top. It sucks water up around the pipe up through the middle of this one, fills this whole bell up with water and creates a vacuum. <clears throat> so as soon as that starts siphoning in there, let's get a shot of that. Let me put the bell back on and then you'll see what kind of pressure it creates in the return. Alright, so you're starting to suck over there now, evenly. Put the bell back on, it's filling the bell back with water. And then it's going to return here. As you can see. And as soon as that bell fills completely with water, it's actually going to create a vacuum. There it goes. And really start sucking water out. There's actually some velocity to it. Splash with water, and then it starts to drain the tank. Right now, it's about uh, 12 minutes to fill it, and three minutes to drain it roughly. We have to time it up for the video here and really see it. We've just been watching on the so give or take 30 seconds, about three, three and a half minutes to drain and 12 minutes to fill. So basically five times an hour, this will fill and drain, fill and drain. As it drains, the air gets sucked back through the medium. I'm going to be using gravel for this because it helps hold plants that grow larger and sprawl on the ground better. better. <coughs> you can see as it's getting down towards there, you see the, the holes at the bottom. And once the water level reaches that, you can see stuff. Maybe in this video you will see the vortex of being created around it. And it's actually really sucking in and it's creating a vortex around the bottom of the very dry soil. It's 
So when I put this rock in there, some of them went not wasted in water, I'm going to go ahead and not rinse it. It's going to throw a bunch of sediment back into the bottom of the tank. But it should cycle back up and then come to an equilibrium and rest in that inch and a half to inch and three quarters of water that's left in the bottom every time. First, you can see the water starting to get agitated around the holes. So it's there into there. Starts to break the side. And you can add a small hose to this that's capped at the top of the bell. It goes down and will really break the siphon quickly. But this one has been working really well. And you can see. So the siphon's broken now, but what's trickling out is just what gravity's sending back, and then it'll go to the very last little drop and stop. Tank's full. Water's being agitated now, I just need to add some more aeration to it. Starts again, just keeps going. Valve, <clears throat> one valve from the return in line. And here it comes up, no flex tubing. It's tapped on the side right there. And then just returns. So that's that. <sighs>